Look at these photos, study them, and ask yourself the hard questions. How do they make you feel? What do you think the artist was trying to convey? I want you to picture the type of artist who would take photos like these. Who do you see? Whoever it is, you're probably saying, they have an eye for this. But boy, do I have a surprise for you. Hey, what's going on? My name's Andrew, you can call me Pooch, and I would like to welcome you to the Less Lonely channel. I'm really glad you're here. So, about those photos. The man who took those photos' name is Peter Eckert. And what makes these photos absolutely amazing is that Peter is blind. I didn't know about Peter a week ago, and now, now you could say that I'm slightly obsessed. Peter's known for working with brands like Volkswagen, Swarovski, and even Playboy. <clears throat> opportunities that few have had the privilege to achieve. Add a lack of sight to the mix, and I don't feel like it's presumptuous to say that achieving these things is even harder. Earlier, I asked you the hard questions. How do these photos make you feel? And I wanna know, after knowing what you know now, has your perception changed? I used to think what it would be like if I lost my hearing as a musician. I wondered if I'd still be able to sing or if I'd even know the notes that I was playing. A lot of times I would wonder if I would have the strength to keep going or if I'd just give up. I guess Peter doesn't have to wonder. You see, Peter never gave up. He chose the same path the likes of professional athletes, generals, and world leaders tread. And that, my friends, is the path of most resistance. We don't always choose this path for ourselves. In many ways, I think we tend to avoid it. But life is an unruly ride, and that's not always possible. What do we do when we're presented with this path? Well, Peter, like those before him, chose to walk. The only reason I know about Peter Eckert is because of my friend Dalton. He wanted to do a blindfolded photography challenge. I went searching for inspiration for a challenge like this, and when I found it, of course I accepted. I, come here I thought you said, I need you to come and, and I'm going to take a blind photo off of you, so. <laughs> but you're the one in the blind You're not asking any questions. Dalton, say what's up. What's up? Tell the people what we're doing today. Uh, we're taking photos blindfolded. Won't be able to see anything. Candace is going to do everything for me. And we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. Candace, how you feeling? I don't know what to expect with this. I'll be honest. I came here, no instructions, no directions. <laughs> and now I'm part of a challenge. I love and it. And I, ex I have exactly zero photography or videography skills. So... But you do have modeling experience. Don's gonna go first because uh, we flipped the bottle cap and he lost. There. Tails. You won. I won. Yeah, You're going you first, it. dude. Okay. Five minutes blindfolded. And I'm calling the shots. And she's calling the shots, everybody. So watch out. Let's do it. Let's start. Cameras are just too smart these days. They can get good pictures without you ever having to look through the viewfinder. My initial thought when reviewing these photos was, eh, that was challenging, but not too difficult. And then I remembered one crucial detail that separates me from the likes of Peter Eckert. Peter shoots on a Mamiya film camera released in 1974. I take back what I said. Peter is truly a master. Here's to everyone faced with an obstacle, a challenge they think they will not recover from. Look to Peter Eckert. 
Look to those who took what was handed to them and gave something in return. When you're faced with the path of most resistance, take it. And if you remember those who went before you, you won't go it alone. Thanks, Peter. I'm supposed to be able to see myself, right? You gotta yeah. flip the thing out. Okay. Okay. All right, well, you got the timer ready?